identified as agender for the past two years and I use they them pronouns. Agender just means like I don't really feel like male or female. I just kind of feel in between the spectrum and there's not really like even an audible sense of gender or anything like that. It's just I just use agender for lack of a better word because it just means genderless. I'm not out to a lot of people, mostly just some friends and like the GSA and stuff, but um, people do assume my gender because of how I present and I really wish people understood that like gender and gender presentation aren't necessarily synonymous. Like just because I like to wear like skirts or I like to wear earrings or eyeliner or something doesn't necessarily equate to being feminine. And the same, the same goes for if I'm presenting more masculine one day, it's just how I feel. Like, for me, clothes doesn't have a gender, it's just another way to, like, express myself. To me, gender dysphoria really just feels like, it's kind of like someone's put a blanket over my head and I'm being, like, slowly suffocated. And, like, there's definitely, like, that's like the physical feeling, but mentally it feels like something's really, really wrong. And, like, I almost can't understand why I just, like, understand on a really, really, like, Deep, like really really internal level that like something's not the way it should be and it, I like there's always this overwhelming sense of I need to change that right now. It's it's like it's worse. My advice to people who are like struggling with their gender identity is kind of reach out, like go to like a support group and like a GSA or like, a QSA or something like you're really not alone in this because there's actually a surprising number of people who identify as trans or non-binary. So I think that's a lot of it's just like a question of finding them and like connecting with them because it's, it's a lot easier once you have someone to like talk to and someone who understands what you're going through, I guess. I think one of the first things they should be asking is like, what pronouns do you use and who is it safe to use it around? Because for a lot of people, it's not safe to use their pronouns around everyone. So you really need to check in with them and like see what I think. Just check in with them and see what they want. Because like when I first came out to people, I didn't really feel like I needed advice or felt like I needed like anything. Like I didn't feel like I needed like their help. I just felt like I kind of needed someone who would understand and someone I could just like talk to and then would use my pronouns. I guess if that makes sense. Like. Not every trans person is going to want like to talk in depth about their gender identity. Sometimes it's just like when they're coming out, it's all all they want to say is, "Please use my pronouns. And please respect me for who I am." My parents do not come from backgrounds that would enable them to be supportive of like other gender identities. Um, my mom immigrated from China, and like talking, trying to figure out like what she thought about gay rights and stuff. Like her answer was just like. This is a thing that happens in America. There is no gay in China, and if there's no gay in China, then like, what, like, what is, is there even trans? Like, and then my dad kind of grew up in like the Midwest and the South, so he like doesn't really have much understanding about either. I think they both come a long way, but like, I, I, I don't even know what I'm trying to say with this. It's just something like, I guess. Like, a lot of people here are really accepting, but it's super different in other places. Yeah, different cultures, like, have completely different understandings of gender. Some of them are, like, far more accepting. Like, for them, historically, there have been a gender non-binary, but for a lot of them, it's just, like, a completely foreign and new concept, and it's not welcome at all. And, like, it may be getting better, but I still think there's a lot of work to go. And, like, a big mistake a lot of people make is assuming that because, like, gay marriage is legal, because it's illegal to beat up someone on basis of their sexuality or gender, like, there's still a lot more battles that, that like, the queer community has to win, and we're still, like, working on that. It's, the fight's not over, and just because gay people can marry each other now doesn't mean it is.